I was on vacation with my be three best friends in Mexico, in Riviera Maya. And on our second to last day of vacation, I went to go take a phone call and I stepped onto our hotel room balcony. And while I was on the phone, I propped myself up on the railing and I fell down the three stories onto the ground. I suffered a T4 uh, spinal cord injury and now I can't feel anything from my waist down. When I woke up after surgery and I couldn't feel my legs, it was very hard. I was really nervous that I wasn't going to be able to drive a car again or be in a relationship or go to concerts with my friends. I would never be able to feel the crunch of leaves under my feet while I was hiking up a mountain. But I had to be strong for my parents. And from then on, I didn't let myself have a negative attitude. I came to Gaylord and on my first day here, I got to meet my physical therapist and occupational therapist, Tim and Megan. They saw what I could do, knew, like created a whole plan for me, and helped me make goals. My goals were to transfer successfully by myself and to become completely independent with all my self-care. And I was able to accomplish those goals within my first couple of weeks at Gaylord, and I spent the rest of the time just improving upon them. One of my favorite services I received was the therapeutic recreation. And it was there that I got a sense of what I could do from a wheelchair and how I can get back to living an active life. I became really, really close with a lot of the nurses and we would have lunch on the patio and they would come and visit and ask me how my day was. And one of the most pivotal figures during my time at Gaylord was my physical therapist, Tim. I remember a couple days before I was being discharged, he took me aside and we spent a whole therapy session working in the wheelchair that I would be sent home with. He helped me go around the whole hospital in that wheelchair. And when we made the final lap, I, I broke down and I just started crying because it all really hit me that I wasn't going to be in this safe hospital space anymore. I was gonna be out in the real world trying to figure things out on my own. He pulled me aside in the hallway and just sat there and let me cry and told me that things are hard, but I'm strong enough to get through it. For the past few months, I've been able to use the XO machine every single week. And that has been so liberating for me. Just being able to stand up and walk around is something that I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to do again. Another big part is I'm able to walk around with my friends. And we've got to have a conversation standing up face to face and it was really life-changing. When I'm in EXO, I can't get the smile off of my face. When I first came to Gaylord, I was at my lowest point in my life. But during my stay here, I regained so much of that strength, and more importantly, so much of my confidence. And today, I'm happy to say that I'm working full-time at the same job I was before, I'm driving myself around. I've gone skiing twice. I've tried archery. I've tried wheelchair basketball. I've tried dating again. I've gone to concerts. And I really feel like I've gotten my life back. Mm -hmm.